Hey guys, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, it's been over a year since we have partnered with our friends over at Victrola, uh, and they have sent us a beautiful eight-in-one turntable that I'm really excited to review. Check it out, see if it's worth its salt, and hopefully make a recommendation to you just in time for Thanksgiving, you guys. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. This is Recordology. And here it is. It's a big, beautiful box, and I'm super excited to see what's inside. I'm assuming a Victrola record player. But we got a three-speed turntable, a USB recorder and player. It's got Bluetooth connectivity, AM, FM radio with analog tuner, cassette player, CD player, 3.5 millimeter aux input. This is awesome. Now check this out. It's also got three turntable needles, a USB flash drive, LP cleaning cloth, a $49.99 value is also included. Without further ado, you guys, let's get right into it. Okay. Oh, I love this part. Big reveal. All right, simple blocking foam plastic wrap, that's all you need. These boxes are often packed pretty tight, so it's kind of tricky opening them up. You want to be very careful. Sometimes it's best just to tear the box away around it. And you can sort of slide it straight on out, or not. I've, all, I've noticed that the Victrolas are always packed awful tight, which is good. Tighter packaging means less movement during transport. Okay, so with the box utterly destroyed, what do we got here? Okay, and inside we've got our owner's manual. Definitely hold on to that. We've got a really cool welcome card with a discount, which is really cool, 20% off coupon. This is so awesome, you guys. This is a USB thumb drive that they include. Look at this thing, this thing is sick. That is super cool. Replacement styli, very cool. Important to have on hand. It's really cool that they include that. A record cleaning cloth, very cool. RCA cable, definitely important to have. And this is really cool, you guys. This comes with a remote control. I don't think we've reviewed but one player that had a remote control. It was that Electra Home unit from over, that was a couple of years ago now. But anyway, check this out, super cool. All right, guys, let's finish unpacking it. Okay, so we're very gently going to remove the foam blocks on the edges. This thing is beautiful. Look at this wood finish. I love these things because it's like a piece of furniture and electronics all in one. So cool. And you know what, you guys? With one of these all-in-one units, you have everything you need. You don't need preamps, amplifiers, separate components, CD player, tape player, yada, yada, yada. You have everything you need in one device. One beautifully designed device. This also features the world's biggest silica packet. Don't eat this, kids. Just throw it away. All right, guys, let's take a little bit of a tour around the sides of this thing. It is Gorgeous, and you know what? I've got a soft spot in my heart for Victrola, or Innovative Technologies, which owns the uh, Victrola name. You know what? These guys were the first company that partnered with Recordology to review products, so I think they're really cool just for that reason alone. I think we only had 47 subs the first time that they partnered with us, and those videos that we did early on have gone on to be you know, some of our biggest videos and the first ones that are gonna pass a million. Uh, but look at this thing, you guys. It is beautiful. Uh, you got cloth speaker grills, a lot of indent accents here. There's like a black indent area here, rounded wood corners. I see a lot of material improvements over, you know, the six in one unit that we reviewed a couple of years ago. Uh, I see that the uh, finishings are a little bit, you know, higher touch, a little bit finer quality just based on looking at it. We're going to get into the controls in a minute. Tape player is going to be on the side. Push this 
this button in halfway for fast forward or push it all the way in to eject. And these actually do a really, really good job. And if you want to rewind your tape, you flip it over and then it allows you to rewind it that way. On the back here, uh, you're going to see the typical warning messages, speaker grills. I've said it early on. In fact, I said it the very first time we reviewed their products. You know, a company that takes the time and effort and cost to finish the back panel of their devices cares about their devices. It's just like good packaging. They actually care that it arrives to you not only in one piece, but looking great and functioning well. Here's where the aux out is. FM antennas back here, power cord. There's a little bit of a cutout here uh, because the full-size 12-inch records can protrude a little bit out there without any trouble whatsoever. It allows them to build the device a little bit shallower so it fits better on a bookshelf. Okay, and one of my favorite parts now, who makes this thing? Doing a little CSI work, taking the FCC ID seen here on the back panel, and we find out that this is made by LeeTac. LeeTac is the same company, if you remember, that makes that really cool Target turntable. Here's a picture of the inside of the unit. As you can see, typical construction, parts that we'd expect to see, and I think this is really neat seeing what you can find here. Uh, here's a close-up of the motor. It's a different motor brand than I've seen before, so I was a little surprised to see that. And then finally here we have a picture of the power supply inside of the unit. All this is public info available on the FCC website. All right, back to the review. All right, that's about it on our little tour around the side. Let's look at the bottom really quick. The bottom is pretty simple, you guys. So. This fiberboard wood product that they use has some anchor points for some of the internal structuring and circuit boards and whatnot, rubber feet, and that's really all you need to know about it. Okay guys, and without further ado, let's look under the hood. After all, this is a record player, right? All right, we've got our typical foam blocking materials, and we've got this little paper protector. Also, some instructions on there. If this is your first time setting one of these up, definitely read those. Uh, next, we're gonna take off the blocking foam gently from underneath the tone arm. And we're gonna slide out the uh, stylus protector. It is literally, okay, one more thing, twisty tie. But it is literally now ready to go. I wanna point out a couple quick things before we move on. Okay, so we have a spring mounted counterbalance. We've got a cueing lever here so we can gently raise and lower the stylus, which is a very cool feature. And we've got our three speed select right there. It'll do 33, 45, and 78. And that's pretty much all there is to it, you guys. There's also a 45 RPM adapter. Now, I know what some of you guys are saying. Some of you guys are like, that's going to damage your records. That's just a Crosley movement, blah, 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 blah. It's not a Crosley movement, but it will also not damage your records. And to prove that, we're going to pull out the tracking force gauge by Ortofon and have a look at exactly how much down pressure, how much force this needle is placing on records. Okay, and here is our beautiful ceramic cartridge. And by the way, that red tip stylus there is probably sapphire or ruby, um, but you can upgrade those to diamond for a really low cost if you're interested in doing so. But what I wanna show you here is the tracking force. So we really want this thing to track at five grams or under, and using this tracking force gauge, we can measure it. Right now it's set to five grams on the gauge, so if this stylus and cartridge comes down and this teeter-totter scale balances evenly, then we know that it's set to five grams, which is what I believe it is, and that is perfectly fine. It will not damage your records. It is designed to function at that weight in order to get good sound out of this type of cartridge. Records are designed to operate between five all the way up to nine grams of stylus pressure, you guys. So don't let people scare you into thinking that you're gonna damage your records. Okay, without further ado, here we go. And as you can see, it's just about level, you guys. We are right at five grams, maybe even a hair under five grams there. So perfectly in line and in compliance for this stylus and this cartridge. All right, guys, let's move on. Okay, guys, and here's the front panel. Let's take a little tour. Don't be intimidated. There's a lot to look at here, but all of your controls are located here. You'll be able to pick it up nice and easy. Don't you worry about that. So over here we have our input select where you can pick what you're going to be listening to. So we've got an aux in slash Bluetooth button, phono, that means the record player, phonograph, CD slash USB, tape player, remember the tape player on the side, and our FM AM radio right there. It's also a little film covering this screen, we can go ahead and remove that. 
you got your tuning knob right here. As you can see, that corresponds to the analog gauge right there. You've got your volume select, push button, power button, which is cool. Hello. You gotta love equipment that greets you. I remember when they started doing that on stuff and I thought that was so cool. Now it's like normal. Your car says hello to you, your stereo say hello to you, and, uh, and whatnot, which is really cool. So you can see uh, this lights up uh, to the input that's selected, which is a CD. If we go to phonograph, that will light up, so on and so forth. Uh, let's take a look at the CD drawer. I always like to see how hefty the actual CD drawer is itself. Okay, that's pretty typical. I would say that's neither flimsy nor extra durable. I'd say that's adequate and what I would expect. Taking a close look at the front here, you're going to see the headphone jack as well as the transport controls for the CD player, the aux input jack, as well as the USB connection. These buttons are also going to control front to back, or what we call transport, for not only the CD player, but also for the USB when you've got that connected as well. Over here we've got some buttons. Some of these are for the MP3 uh, capabilities through the uh, USB jack. So the delete button, the record button, but we've also in the middle here got repeat, program, and shuffle, which will pertain to the CD player itself. All right, guys, let's play around with it a little bit. And I'm gonna be using a stereo microphone in the room. I'm not gonna be using a direct feed. These all-in-one units, I really want you to hear how the speakers sound and to really get an idea for the sound quality that you're gonna get out of the device as a whole. One thing that makes these so cool is that they're all in one. You do not need anything else to enjoy your music. And this thing has every format you could imagine, except for eight tracks, but we don't like eight tracks, so that's fine. You've got CDs, tapes, MP3s, and of course records. So anyway, let's get to a little bit of sound testing. I'm real excited, you guys. Okay guys, we're gonna start with a little music from Aladdin. Because of YouTube copyright rules, I'm not gonna be able to play very much music. However, I want you guys to get an idea of the sound quality of a couple different types of music. I'll be using an external stereo microphone right in front of the speakers for you guys to get an idea. So here is some music from Aladdin. See how it skipped over there a little bit, you guys? It's fairly common. Uh, sometimes these have a tendency to want to pull inward. The anti-skate setting on these is set at the factory, so there's not much you can do about that. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid You know what, you guys? So far, the sound is good. It's rich. It's full. Uh, good full-range speakers, based on what I've heard so far. This volume knob is a digital knob. It just sits there and spins. That is interesting, they would put a digital knob on there. So yeah, I can keep turning it when it maxes out. It doesn't matter what position it's in, you can rotate it back the other way. That's cool, that's actually a good feature. I think that that will help avoid noise. And a lot of knobs, I think specifically analog knobs, you get that <laughs> scratchy sound. I think that's mostly attributable to analog knobs. So I think with the digital knob, that'll be a little bit better. That was unexpected, was not expecting a digital knob. There is a little bit of hum there. That's pretty typical though. No big deal. Once you turn the volume back down, it's really disappears. That was awesome, you guys. I love it. Very, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and play something else. Let's go ahead and test out the tape player. Now, Dolby Laboratories, you've seen like Dolby B or Dolby C noise reduction on tape players in the past. Dolby no longer licenses their technology. So these tape players just have a basic mechanism. I think there, I heard somewhere there's like one company that's making the pickup heads for all of these. That may or may not be true. It's gonna have a little bit of a lower bias because the heads they're making these days aren't quite as sensitive. So that works really, really well because a Dolby encoded tape is naturally higher bias. So it'll kind of cancel itself out and give you really good sound anyway, which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and listen to a cassette tape. Not bad at all, you guys. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. And again, fast forward, push that button in halfway, push it all the way in to eject the tape. It's as simple as that. All right, now let's go ahead and test out the CD player. I'll be curious to give this a listen.
Not sure if it auto plays or not. I had to have the volume cranked up pretty high to get uh, a reasonable sound on that. So it is kind of quieter, but the sound quality was really good. This has got to be one of the coolest looking USB drives I've ever seen in my life. Very cool. So to record to USB, you put in your USB device. Always upside down first, that's what I do. So insert it like that, that just looks so cool. You wouldn't even know that's a USB stick. Make sure that you're on phono mode. I'm going to start the record off camera here. Then you just press record, it's as simple as that. And when you're done recording, quality of these mp3 files. I'm going to look at it on a computer here. And taking a look at the file properties, we can see exactly what the bitrate is, which is 128k. And 128k is not bad. Okay, and how about the quality of the digital file recorded? I'm going to play the recorded sample here in a second, but it looks like they recorded at 128k, which is not bad. I'm not sure of the sample rate, but the bitrate of 128k is fine. It's not super high, it's not super low. It's just right in there. Very very reasonable. And let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a listen. So overall, I think this is a fantastic unit. I'm going to highly recommend it. I'm not sure what the outputs are like in terms of connecting it to an external stereo system. Uh, also, we didn't test out the radio, although I'm sure that that's fine as well. Uh, there's also a remote control that we saw earlier. The tape player sounded fantastic. Good mid-range speakers. You get a decent representation of bass, a decent representation of high. I didn't notice any wow or flutter. So good sound quality, and I think this would be a fantastic all-in-one unit. You guys a fantastic unit to get started if you're in an apartment you have limited space you don't want to invest or can invest in a lot of expensive equipment this might be the perfect fit for you all right guys and as the sign says it's time to give thanks tomorrow is thanksgiving and i am particularly thankful for all that god has done for me this year and for you guys i'm so thankful for you being out there and i hope that there's something you can think of that you're thankful for as well if you're interested in this victrola turntable check the link in the description below and stay tuned because either tomorrow on thanksgiving or maybe the day after on black friday we're going to be going live with some exciting news i want you guys to be the first ones there to witness it. We're going to be doing something very cool for December and I am so excited because we are gearing up for Christmas mode which is our biggest time of the year and my favorite time of the year for multiple reasons you guys. I just love love Christmas. All right guys thank you so much for watching. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.